Our top story tonight, continuing coverage of an apartment fire in Warner Robins. Tonight we know the fire killed 77-year-old Sheena Shoemate. Houston County Coroner Danny Galpin says Shoemate died from smoke inhalation. The Red Cross says over a dozen families lost their homes in the fire that destroyed an entire building unit at the Coldwater Creek Apartments. Ashlyn Webb spoke to the Red Cross today about the effort to help them. 33 people were displaced from their homes when flames broke out here at the Coldwater Creek apartment Saturday night. Now the American Red Cross and a nearby church are stepping in to help. The Red Cross had boots on the ground within hours after flames destroyed these Warner Robins apartments. Five volunteers on the ground and another five working virtually so we could quickly help the families meet with them one on one to find out what are your emergency needs like temporary housing, food and clothes. Sherry Nicholson with the Georgia Red Cross says their caseworkers will continue to work with the 19 families in the days ahead as they continue the recovery process. We can help with emotional needs. We can refill a prescription that was lost in the fire. Um, we can even say a prayer with someone if someone requests that from us. So um, we're there just to meet all the needs we can of the people affected. But Nicholson says they cannot do it on their own. That's why Southside Baptist Church just down the road from the apartment complex also stepped in to help get essentials to those displaced, including clothes. Right now, Red Cross caseworkers are sorting out what sizes are needed. Southside senior pastor Jerry Walls says these families will also need help financially to get other items. That gift cards especially uh, would be very easy to pass along to families. Walls says the church has made it their mission to help their community. Just two weeks ago, they launched the program called Fourth the 478. We have kind of cleared up our budget. We've set aside funds and and uh, we, we really want to do something for our community. And, and then this happened and we feel like this was kind of like God saying, OK, this is your first project for the 478. Now, in terms of the investigation, Mandy Stella with the city of Warner Robins says there's no other information at this time, but we'll continue to follow the story as it develops. Reporting in Warner Robins, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Amazing News. The Red Cross says you can donate on their website, redcross.org.